Digital pills have been in the news a lot lately, with the first one just getting approval from the US Food and Drug Administration. But what are they and how are they different from, say, smart drugs or digital therapeutics? The first digital pill is just like an established medication, in this case an antipsychotic, but with one tiny difference. It includes an ingestible sensor that communicates with a smartphone. Once the pill is swallowed and connected to that smartphone app, the patient can choose to share their data with a, with a doctor, a family member, a caregiver. And the idea is that if these people have an insight into whether they're taking their meds correctly, people won't abuse them or neglect them. So that's a digital pill. Other terms you might have heard are smart drugs or digital therapeutics. These are totally different. Smart drugs are often used to describe supplements or nootropics that contain a blend of commonly used ingredients like caffeine and claim to enhance mood or brain function. There's very little evidence that these drugs actually work, so it's more of a marketing term than anything else. Meanwhile, digital therapeutics refers to a group of companies or apps that aim to augment or potentially even replace traditional meds. An example of that could be a company called Sleep.io that's making an app for people with insomnia that helps them get better by teaching them new coping mechanisms. And this is designed to be an alternative to a sleeping aid. Some people find these new methods to be controversial, potentially biomedicine's version of a big brother, but others describe it as the future of medicine. Tell us what you think. Let me know at Chrissy Farr on Twitter. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.